different, 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 different issues, different issues different and concerns. concerns. I'm finding I'm so, so many, so many different, men, different mentalities. I'm um, 23 years old. I go to Westchester University. Superman. I plan on starting, well, I do start my own organization, and it's called Well Let's Talk, and it's talking about the things that's rarely talked about. We wanted to be talking about more the things that are unknown. Like, for example, I go to Westchester, and I don't know what all my tuition is going to, and I wonder why I don't, but it's because they want me to not know that on, my money is going to other things. Up. I'm paying for a tutor that I can't even get. I went there and I asked them, they told me, you know, offer tutor for juniors and seniors. So I'm like, you still charging us though. So what's like what's the solution for that? And even being in school for as long as I am, I've been angry for about how old am I? I'm twenty three. I've I've been angry for about like seven years or whatnot, just waking myself up because I can't say before I was eighteen that I was like really woke. Like my parents, my grandma tried to tell me things, like I listened and all that, but I wasn't too attentive. Like I would say things like, oh, we just got Obama. Like, how can you say things are progressing and things like that? Up until up until Trayvon Martin died and I was around his age, I really wasn't seeing all like I really wasn't seeing all of what was happening. So once that event happened and that damn sure could have been me on that ground, I started opening my eyes and I started paying attention more. What bothers me about my community, at least, or at least like my generation, because you guys are older than me and I can't speak for y'all, I feel like my generation doesn't want to come together like people are saying. Like, I can get 20 people, I can text 20 people and ask them, like, oh, like, you trying to smoke, you trying to go to a party, you trying to do this, you trying to do that. And I guarantee you, like, 15, 10, maybe, maybe however many people go to respond. But if I ask them, same 20 people, Sometimes, like, oh, you, you trying to come to an event, oh, you trying to start a little something, something. All good. You, you get hearing excuses, like, you hear this, you hear that. And it frustrates me even more that I can go up to school and we have a black student union event and we talk about something, or whatnot, whatnot. But then I come back home to Philly and we're not doing nothing. Because we just sit here all stuck in the same place, some of us, or we all talking about. Oh damn, this needs to change. Oh, oh, this needs to change, but we're not but we're not doing nothing. Me personally, I'm tired of it. I'm tired of not doing nothing. I'm tired of being the person that had the plans up here but just didn't know how to activate them or do whatever. So I'm asking all five of you, or everybody in here, whoever, I need help. Like I want to bring my people together. Like I want to see us overcome. I've only been on this earth for 23 years, and I already know that I'm willing to die for what I believe. Come on, bro. And I'm Come on. To die Come on, bro. Fight yeah. for my kids, yeah. my grandkids, my great grandkids. Yeah. I have zero. I have zero kids. No, none of that. I'm already thinking about them and the type of world that they would come into. Because again, <laughs> I'm not even satisfied with the world that I'm living in, and I feel like if I keep being satisfied with the world that I'm living in. That's going to teach them a little something about like them being comfortable with the world that they're living in, and it's just not it's just not for us. Like this whole world isn't for us. I have yet to see even countries in Africa they're against us. Why systematically? Why people done turn against us? Americanized Af African Americans and Africans. We're far in distance because Africans will say we're not real Africans. While us on the other hand will well you're not like us either. We're all the same. We're so all the same. Every day. Let me let me every let me, day. Let me add something. Let me address something, right? Because you ask, first of all, you ask for help. Right? You're saying you're ready to be activated. So you see that man standing next to you? Like that's the best person to be standing next Woo! to you right now. Right? So you need to connect with him, give him your information. All of us up here will share our information with you. But I want you to keep some two things in mind. First of all, no major revolution or change in the world has ever happened by the majority. That's right. Right? That's right. Think about that. Revolution is the act of going against the, the status quo. So no major revolution in the world has ever ha occurred by the majority of people doing anything. And second, if you think about every civilization, the history of the world, the majority of people that have been the most proactive, the most activated, the, the, the leaders when it came to fighting, with people your age, with teenagers, right? You need to just talk to some people, look into your history in terms of the ages of folks, right? When, when folks got started, when you talk about 
um, um, leaders of previous generations, that's one of the things that people don't recognize is the age of Martin Luther King when he got started, the age of Malcolm X when he first came out, the age of folks who actually um, began and, and really charged these movements. Right? So that's the one thing. Just look at the ages of those people. Don't look at what they look like when they die. Okay? Think about it. Go back and learn the history in terms of where they started. They started where you are right now. And the reason why most people in most generations, and, and I, I was, I'll speak for America, I can't speak for every country, but the reason why that age is the most important, it relates directly to why we see, well, one of the reasons why we see our young black and brown boys and men wilding out because they have become aware that all the things that we have been teaching them as a society, go to school, get good grades, be there on time, get a good job, make money, none of that shit works, right? Because we're in a system that's broken. And it's at that age that you start realizing that all the stuff that I've been taught is not working. And that, that rebellion, that anger, is because the system is broken. Right, so, so I want you to hold on to that. But the other thing is, you're not alone. When you say, you know, you have a student union at, at Westchester, but you come back home and things aren't happening, there's folks in this room that can connect you to people, your age, and stuff is happening. So don't ever take for, for granted the fact that there are other people like you, who feel like you, who are doing the work. It's, it's, it's the system's goal to keep us all ignorant. Yeah. And to keep us divided. So what you're experiencing, you're experiencing the system exactly as it's how it's, how it's supposed to operate. But don't fall for it. Thank you for for being there first, and I appreciate you for like hearing me out and now offering your advice to me. So can I just say really quickly that baby, I want to thank you for being angry Amen. and for being here because that anger is what brings you to action. And I also want to say that don't feel like um, well, you can feel how you feel, but don't think that just because people your age or people that you've been engaging with are not feeling what you feel or seeming like they understand the experience that you all are experiencing, whether they admit to it or not, they're feeling the same thing that you're feeling, they're just not willing to deal with it. But don't let that take you away from the goal or the fire or the, you know, the desire that you have to change your condition. You should really step outside of your circle from time to time. You mentioned that yeah, we're, we're a lot older than you. Yes, we are. I'm probably twice your age, maybe even a little more. But I connected with you on a level just now. Like, I have three sons. My oldest is 25. I connected with you on a level of frustration for the young black male. You understand what I'm saying? So don't, don't think that you have to stay in, connect, stay in connection with people your age who don't seem to be getting the message. There are others out there like you. There are those of us, there are young people that run in my circle who are interested in education, who are interested in change in the community. So, you know, exchange information, network as much as you can, keep coming to events like this, and keep the, the, the desire to change in you. Yeah, I just left, left the meet with a lot of young people your age, but so don't don't convince yourself that there's not young people out there ready to do some work um, because they exist. So your your challenge, you don't have to respond. Your challenge is to find them. You got people in here who are conduits to them. Um, what I'm going to add for you though, and it might not be received well, but I'm an old man. Um, I have a son your age, and I try to. You got. We have to learn how to discipline our anger. Um, anybody who's ever fought before, the first thing you know you go into a rumble, your, your, your trainer tells you, you can't fight man. You can't fight man. So we got a lot of mad people who get in the eye of the storm and they spaz out. And then they get taken out. So what we haven't done a good job is we exploit people, young people like you. We exploit your anger. We put y'all on the front lines and have y'all out there rhetorically shouting and on the front line, unprepared and undisciplined. So I'm gonna ask you to breathe. I'm gonna ask you to realize that there are groups, there are young people who are strategically kicking ass on a lot of fronts. I agree. And if you want to do real work with them, we can be the conduit to that. But your job is to discipline your anger so that it becomes a tool 
for our benefit, not a weapon used against you. So you got to take that to heart, my brother. I appreciate you. Challenge. 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 It seems, it seems challenging. I don't say hard because the only thing hard is the concrete that we walk on. Everything else is a challenge. 